Hi, I'm Haira Hussein and I'm here to catalyze global ascension and uh, today I'm in the Sinai, Egypt, uh, Dahab uh, and um, it's been amazing. Uh, I've been traveling around for three weeks and I uh, feel very blessed to be here in this beautiful land and um, I hope you can hear me right because there's a lot of wind coming from the sea and from the mountains behind from the desert so um, let's see if this recording is going to work I really want to speak today about destiny and manifestation two of the almost biggest topics that I've been avoiding a little bit uh, to speak about because it's quite a big topic so I've made some notes uh, that are gonna help me to speak about this and also I want to share with you that I've been um, reading and still journeying through these books and they're called Oneness from Rasha R-A-S-H-A Rasha she lives in India and she's been channeling Oneness and writing about it so you can order those books they are amazing I have uh, oneness and a journey to oneness and um, you can become a member of a, a one-year course where every day you get a quote and you work on that quote from her book so very very interesting so in the, my discussion with her in the discussion group uh, that's when uh, some clicks were made about this whole subject of destiny and um, a manifestation so um, first of all um, things are set in place um, for us to experience certain things in life if we want to evolve so um, if you think that you're going through a personal ascension it's not only that we are going through a planetary ascension which is a mass ascension and uh, also if you don't know what ascension is have a look at my other YouTubes and I will do uh, I've recorded a beautiful recording about what is ascension so that's coming soon too but just see it as the whole of existence of the planetary energy of where we are in is raising its vibration is, is going up in a higher vibration of energy which means that a lot of us are waking up are uh, waking up from a very long time sleep a very long time slumber and um, the good news is, is that it's not only personal it's also planetary and actually the whole of creation is going through this uh, change so it's happening on a mass scale so this is a process which indeed is meant to be so indeed it's in unfolding as a process um, as it is meant to be you could say we're all coming from oneness and we're all going back into oneness so free will you can have another look at one of my YouTubes where I'm speaking about free will if you want to have the short version of what free will is it's kind of deciding if you want things to go fast or to go slow you can go fast back into the oneness or you can go slow so one of the first things that happened when we detached from oneness is that we um, opened ourselves up for the experience to be separated from source have a human body have a human experience or any type of other experience where we were separated from source which obviously is an illusion we're never separated from source we are source everything is source but the beauty of it is, is that in that game of separating from source, separating from oneness, uh, we are learning and evolving, which again is an illusion because we are already all of that. Um, so as you can see, it's kind of hard to speak about this, but I'm doing my best. So, so the, one of the first things that is one of the simple symptoms of this uh, change, of this destiny, um, if you want to call it like that, if, it, if, if things are meant to be, is radical change. And energy is the catalyst of this radical change. So how much energy you put into that, um, that, that shift, that's 
how fast or slow you will go. So um, then, in your personal life, sometimes you have this feeling like things are meant to be. You meet somebody, you go to a certain event. Hey, little Jeff, he's right there. You go to a certain event. I, you have a daughter, you have family, you have friends, you do certain situations. Is it meant to be that she just came at this moment? That's my mom. Is is that meant to be? Well, that is another that's another story. Like the way that you can see it like is that um everything has a vibrational basis so you could say that the possibility or the probability or the inevitability of certain experiences if they are manifesting or not is in a large part determined by your own energy so you can better see uh, see destiny as a category of experiences so yes it's destined that when you want to go back into oneness there is a certain category of experiences but in all those possibilities endless timelines and possibilities you decide the circumstances of that experience the category of that experience is laid out but you um, create the experiences so that means that if you have the same situation the same timeline the same uh, vibration and you just slightly shift your inner vibration into that experience at that moment in time then you already can create a whole different set of circumstances so a whole different set of people situation circumstances so are the things meant to be uh, is there really a destiny um, I would like to look at it more freely because it has sometimes uh, blocked me to think that destiny is uh, only in this way, only with this person, only through this uh, religious uh, group, only through this, um, you know, a stream of consciousness, only, and actually there's millions and trillions, if not even more, endless, infinite ways of possibilities of waking up and going back into oneness, or just being oneness. So, um, so yes, so we draw the situations and the people towards us and in that way it feels like they are meant to be but we are the ones that are kind of guiding this process, driving, riding the waves and deciding on the circumstances by our energy and the shifts that we, that we have inside. So yes, it's it's all about your energy, how much you put into it, your vibration that actually uh, decides on the scenario on how you want to go into oneness. So it is meant to be, it is destiny uh, that we all go back into oneness. But um, it is clear that you decide on, on how fast, how slow and all the circumstances around it. So because there are so many infinite possible variations on any given theme that uh, and vibrational variables that um, that you can choose from. So I hope that was kind of clear. Uh, I'm always laughing because um, I have many friends and uh, and so, so many friends that I have since childhood and um, one of them uh, I love her so much. I think about her during vlogs like this because she will say, "I've looked at your vlog, but." I'm not getting anything of what you're saying. She's the sweetest. Um, so I hope that uh, this was clear and that I made some sense. And um, if you have any comments or like or whatever you want, please, um, or not like, also welcome, please share. And um, yes, I will be back in Egypt uh, in December. I realize that I'm doing three to, three to four countries every month. It's a bit a lot and... Um, I'm going to calm down in the winter, but uh, coming back in Egypt in December, we're looking very much forward. And obviously very much looking forward to um, to Amsterdam with uh, Ayako Sikino, uh, the 11th of the 11th. Hope to see you there, online or on-site, uh, live streaming. And I uh, love you very much. Namaste.